All right. Good morning. How are you today? I'm well. How are you, Sam? I am doing fantastic. I've got your resume here in front of me. You've applied to a couple of the direct hire positions here with Ronstadt. So let's go ahead and jump into it. What have you been doing most recently for work? Tetra Tech was a, um, it was a temporary job. Okay. <clears throat> and um, we were helping out with the Texas Rent Relief Program for residents who lived in Texas and needed assistance with their rent due to the pandemic. And I was doing quality control, uh, meaning I was reviewing uh, what, our, what our initial reviewers were sending over to us and either approving it or denying it um, for payment and sending it over. And what would make someone qualify for that type of assistance? So what, like, what were you mining for when you were doing the review? Uh, well, we had to review their lease, uh, make sure that they lived there, that the person applying was on the lease, that the lease was signed. Uh, we had to review some type of identification uh, that they sent in. It could have been their ID or passport or library card, honestly. Okay. Uh, and um, they had to send in additional documents if necessary. Sometimes we would place a call to them if things were illegible, uh, but most of the time we were not on the phones. It was not a requirement. Okay, fantastic. And then prior to that, it looks like you were working over at Sedgwick for, oh goodness, about five years. So tell me a little bit about that position. You were actually the team lead over there. Yes. So I started off as a service center uh, representative, you know, just in the call center, taking inbound calls for the first year. Um, after that year, I was promoted to a team lead and I was in that position for four years. Um, I managed a team of 14 or more um, service center representatives. I completed quality assurance on them. Um, I had to run their stats every day. Um, they had metrics that they had to adhere to, such as adherence, attendance, quality, and also um, either average call work or um, after call work or average handle time, uh, depending on what metric we were measuring. Uh, it kind of fluctuated. All right, beautiful. And then for those that don't know, what um, what kind of industry does Sedgwick operate in? It's a claims service management, uh, claims management service. Insurance or medical? Uh, medical. So it um, was FMLA, which is Family Medical Leave Act, workers' compensation, short-term, long-term disability. Um, we did liability as well, general property, uh, some of those things. Beautiful. All right. Fantastic. And then it looks like you got a little bit of marketing experience under your belt. Tell us about that position. Yes. That was more of the sales. Um, I started off as a sales rep. Um, we were getting resellers to resell our product for online backup. That was Nordic Backup, and then I was promoted to the sales manager where I managed a team of four uh, representatives. They were sales reps, and um, they were basically reaching out to like mom and pop computer shops, trying to get them to become resellers of our backup once someone, um, once their computer kind of burnt out or something happened with it and they weren't able to save their data, then they would kind of introduce the product going forward so okay. that again all right fantastic and but other than like proprietary softwares that are specific to a company what other computer softwares are you comfortable working with um well they we had well, so you mean outside of a company's like specific ones or? yeah yeah like if, if something was designed specifically for a company you know that that wouldn't be relevant to this question but oh. kind of the general the general software programs that you might have worked with in the past um, well, definitely Microsoft, um, anything Microsoft Office, I'm uh, pretty proficient in. Um, so Excel and Word and um, PowerPoint, things like that. Um, I'm not outside of that. Okay, great. And then what would you say at this point in your career is the most important thing to you about the next company that you work for? Um, I am looking to grow within the company. Um, if you look at my resume, I have longevity with most of them. I left Sedgwick after the pandemic hit and I was a stay at home mom until I went to Tetra Tech. Um, and I had the kids at home as well. They were in brick and mortar for a while. So they went back and now I'm kind of trying to jump back into the workforce, but definitely a company that I'm able to grow within or just stay, um, and have some longevity and something to look forward to.
All right, fantastic. And let's talk about like maybe a time in, and it doesn't really matter which position, but say a past position that maybe you had to deal with an unruly customer or, you know, maybe something that kind of goes awry. How would you handle that type of situation? Well, as a supervisor, we actually handle calls. We handled uh, the escalation calls. They would come to us from our service center representatives. And, um, you know, honestly, each situation is different, but you always handle them uh, with care. I allow anyone to kind of speak and let us know what their situation is and um, try to offer what I can do instead of telling them what we can't do. And um, like I had, for example, I had one person I can recall, uh, he sticks with me, uh, but he called in because his claim had not been um, approved for additional funds for his short-term disability. He was upset and a little irate with our call center representative. And uh, so I took the time, I listened to him and I allowed him to speak. And once he was done, I reviewed the claim. I let him know that um, his doctor's office needed to send in additional medical and uh, he said that they had sent it and there was just uh, a lot of back and forth between the doctor's office and his case manager who was uh, managing his case. So I went ahead, I got the case manager on the line, I got the doctor's office on the line so that they could go ahead and talk about what they have received and what was still needed. The doctor's office went ahead and sent it while we were on the phone, the case manager received it and she was able to approve the um, claim going forward from there. So he was definitely happy about that, but it's all about uh, making sure that you're listening to the caller and their needs and not trying to escalate anything, just de-escalating the situation as much as possible. Fantastic. Well, I really appreciate you jumping on here with me on a Saturday morning. Not only do I appreciate the flexibility, but it really shows me your commitment to the next steps in your career. So I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to go ahead and get your profile typed up so I can get it submitted over to our clients. So it'll be sitting in their inbox first thing Monday morning. Um, and thank you so much again. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time, Sam. Hope you have a good weekend. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.